brain! In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. The smallest one was Madeline. <laughs> she loved winter, snow and ice. Madeline, it will freeze soon. <sighs> the girls were waiting for the snow. Phew. Skating, sledding, they would go. They'd make angels all in white. But this year, something was not right. <sighs> December was so very warm with no sign of a winter storm. Miss Clavel, when will it snow? Soon, ma chérie, soon. After all, it is almost Christmas. The girls wrote letters then because they had requests for Santa Claus. They stayed up very late that night, creating lists filled with delight. Like a shiny ring. A very shiny ring. And I would like a new soccer ball. <laughs> what would you like, Madeline? What did you ask Santa for? A new easel? A puppet stage? A hockey stick? I asked for two things. What are they? Tell us. Please, Madeline. Get to play. Sorry, I cannot tell. It is my secret. Later, when they went to bed, without a sugar plum in head, the girls envisioned snow instead. Next morning came, and what a thing! It was so warm, it felt like spring. When you see how cheerful these little girls are, you will be glad you joined the board of trustees, Madame Baguette. The girls were gathered all together as they listened to the weather. There will absolutely, positively be no snow this Christmas. <gasps> it cannot be! No snow? The little girls all cried. And before the tears were dried, Lord Cuckoo Face stepped inside. 
what is this about, Miss Clavel? I was just telling Madame Baguette what happy little girls they are. They are disappointed because there will be no snow for Christmas. <laughs> we were planning to sled and skate. And have a snowball fight. <laughs> and make Christmas angels in the snow. My. This was such a big disgrace. But suddenly, Lord Cuckoo Face said he'd take the girls to another place. You will have a white Christmas. We will go where we will absolutely, positively have snow. That afternoon at half past three, they headed across the wintry sea to a place where snow would surely be. Face. It is a surprise, Madeline, but rest assured, I have friends in snowy places. Voila! I see it! The North Pole! We are really at the North Pole! And there is snow! And indeed, the place he'd chosen was white with snow and very frozen. Look, Madeline! Santa's workshop. Oh la la! Please, Madeline, tell me what you asked Santa for. I will not tell anyone, I promise. Well, I had two wishes, and one already came true. It was for snow, and the second one, if you must know. Sylvie thought Madeline's request surely had to be in jest. But that is impossible, Madeline. You will not get that for Christmas. Nobody could get that wish. Never! <gasps> oh. oh, Madeline, why not ask for something else? Something it is possible to get. No, Sylvie. I have asked for what I want the most, and I will not give up hope. <gasps> <laughs> My good man, it was an accident. Quinn, it is you. How are you, my lad? Hey, Lord Cuckoo Face. These are the girls I wired you about. Girls, this is Quinn, Santa's head elf. Santa's head elf? A pleasure to meet such nice, tall girls. <clears throat> now, if we're going to be on time, we must be on our way. Forward march! <laughs> one, two, three, four. 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 And so one, the two, tiny three, elf four. named Quinn led them to a charming inn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Right on schedule. Until later, my friends. Merci. Come right on in, folks. I've been expecting you. I am Miss Clavel, and these are the girls. Bonjour. Pleased to meet you. Everybody just calls me Granny. Lovely place you have here. Look, a picture of Santa. Do you know him personally? As a matter of fact, I do. Oh, do you think you could get these letters to him? <laughs> I can do better than that. We can all go deliver the letters to Santa's workshop. Oh, thank <laughs> you, Granny. 
Merci beaucoup! Can we give the letters to Santa in person? Sorry. He's planning his route and can't be disturbed. This is his busiest day of the year, you know. I understand. In a warehouse filled with shelves, working busily were many elves. The girls heard such a happy noise in the room all filled with toys for all the good little girls and boys. Our visitors from Paris have some very important letters for Santa. I asked for a microscope. I asked for a ring. I asked for a new soccer ball. More last-minute orders. I'll make sure Santa gets these. Well, what did you ask for? It is a secret. No time for secrets. We're 46 seconds behind schedule. Progress to level B! You asked for a flashlight, right, Madeline? No, a guitar? No, a globe? A jump rope? A train set? You still have time to ask for something else, Madeline. I know, Sylvie, but I will not give up hope. Attention all elves! We must step up production! I repeat, step up production! On to level C! We must be heading back to the inn. We have had a long day. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. Then, in the middle of the night, Madeline felt a sudden fright. <gasps> Something is not right. She saw a sight she'd not forget. The head elf, who was quite upset. SOS! SOS! Help! She got dressed in a great big hurry to see what caused the elf such worry. What is it, Monsieur Quinn? Step lightly. <gasps> there in the workshop, with the Christmas designs, were twelve sniffly elves in two straight lines. In two straight lines, the elves felt crummy, both in the head and in the tummy. The elves have the flu. You got it. And this is the night before Christmas Eve. I can't possibly meet my schedule. Oh, no. We have entered the step D phase with only 15 hours and 23 minutes left. Queen? Uh, it is. Asia and Australia, check. Ditto North and South America. Africa, Antarctica, check, check. But I'm afraid we still haven't wrapped and sorted the gifts for all the children of Europe. We are missing the entire country of France. <gasps> that is my country! No, oh, it's no use. We'll never get them done. Not only will the children of France have no snow this year, but they will get no Christmas presents. Oh, no! What an unlucky chance. Unfinished were the gifts for France. the girls and told them why. They were not elves, but they could try. There is work to do. Presents to be wrapped and sorted. 
Madeline rolled up her sleeve and worked more than you can believe. The Loire Valley, check. Now we just need Brittany. <gasps> Pierre would like a train set. Check. Jean Paul wants a new bicycle. Check. Giselle asked for a dictionary. <laughs> it's no use. We just can't make it. Maybe we should give up. We'll have to cancel Christmas. <laughs> the children are waiting for their presents. We cannot give up hope. <laughs> This time of year is filled with cheer, but you might find a glitch. You're feeling fresh, no time to rest, your new scarf makes you itch. It's Jen and Tan, your ring falls down, there is too much to do. You've lost your list, but here's the gist, with hope you'll make it through. Hope is all you need for Christmas. Squeak open every stocking, hope is free. Toss them on the So, as night turned into day, the gifts were ready for Santa's sled. There's a lot of loading to do, Madeline, but I know we can do it. I thought you had given up, Monsieur Queen. Well, you changed my mind about that, Madeline. You and your friends. Now! Then a sound was heard. A chew, a chew. Monique and Anne had caught the flu. Then Nicole, Danielle, and Lulu, too. And soon the rest all felt a chill. Eleven girls were now quite ill. And feeling not so well, Lord Cuckoo Face. And Miss Clavel. Into their beds, the sick girls went. Nobody was quite content. But one girl was still feeling fine. It was the robust Madeline. We're finished now, Madeline. Go back to the inn and get some sleep. <laughs> good night. Uh, good morning, Monsieur Queen. That Madeline is something. I'll make sure she and her friends get what they wanted for Christmas. Sylvie wanted a microscope. Check. Danielle wanted a ring. Check. Nona, check. Janine, check. Monique, check. Chloe, check. But there's no letter for Madeline. How will I know what to give her? It was true. As Quinn had feared, Madeline's letter had disappeared. 
How will Santa know what to give her for Christmas? Oh, this is terrible! It is snowing! Outside in the cold, cold air, snow was falling everywhere. <laughs> Madeline then heard a sound. She stopped and took a look around. A creature was stirring near the door of the house. A creature much larger by far than a mouse. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. Santa, it is you! It is really you! Merry Christmas, Madeline. My elves and my wife have told me you've been very, very good this year. Your wife? I do not know your way. Oh, 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 but you do. Hmm? Oh, you mean Granny. She is Mrs. Claus? That's right. And she told me that as bad as things got, you did not give up. So you deserve something very special for Christmas. I have already received the two gifts I asked for, Santa. And what were those? <sighs> The first wish was for a white Christmas. The other wish was to meet you and thank you. Merci, Santa, for all the presents you have given me and my friends. This year, I would like to make something for you. Why, thank you, Madeline. I will bake some Bouche de Noël, my favorite Christmas cake. It is a little Yule log made of chocolate. Thank you, Madeline. I look forward to that. And here is a little something to remember me by. Oh, merci beaucoup, Santa. But won't your head get cold? <laughs> Don't worry, Madeline. I always carry a spare. Now I have to finish my preparations for tonight's ride. Joyeux Noël, Santa! Merry Christmas, Madeline! There's Madeline's letter. Santa had it the whole time. Christmas is when spirits soar. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! And that's all there is. There isn't any more.